Hello, this is Julien Tonsuzo and today I will show you how to get started with Steam Audio in Unity. So first things you want to get to the official page to download the package. So click download here and you will get to this page and download the Unity package. Once this is done, uh, just open a new Unity project. So this is an empty project already opened. And what we will do is import the package we just downloaded. So Steam Audio in Unity and phone on Unity package. So just import. Now that's done, I will just add a custom script and a sound I had. Uh, the script is only to be able to move the camera around so we can test the sound effect working. Now the next things we want to do would be to save this scene uh, we call it the tutorial save and i will try to create real fast a scene with uh, some sort of room for the sun to bounce and we can test if the steam audio is actually working so here first i will make this floor and roof yes uh, we need some walls Uh, it's not really a tutorial on how to make a good looking room. So we just make some basic walls. It's the same shape. Uh, of the room they showed in one of their examples, so some kind of uh, L shape. Come over here. And we will just close here. Yeah, so the bounce, I mean, the sound can bounce inside the, inside the room. Uh, I can move that out. Let's create a cube just to show from, to have an indication where uh, the sound will come from. So this is not part of really the room geometry, but we will put the sound on it as an indication. So I just drag the sound like this. The audio source is here. And uh, it. I will create a new game object. We'll call it parent. And what I will do is just drag all the geometry of the room inside will help us later to set up the uh, steam audio. The cube for the sound we leave it out, not part of the geometry like I said earlier. And now we can open the Onon window. I just put it down here. You will see the some Phonon object appearing here 
Uh, I will click scene and simulation and they automatically get into the scene. It's just the settings for this scene. Uh, you don't have to really, I mean, you can change it directly here or you can just change the ones that are uh, inside the phone on window. It will be the same. What we will do now is on the parent, um, we are going to add a phonon geometry. This and uh, the checkbox here export all children. And we will also add the phonon material. So this is to tell the phonon which. What kind of material is on all the walls, the floor, and uh, the roof? We just put the brick. If your floor is just wood, for example, just pick the floor here and go on the child and directly add a new phonon material and put it at wood. And it will take the child setup instead of the parent. Now that's done we go on the camera and we need to add uh, an environment component and also the environment renderer component this is how phonon need to be set up and next we go in the scene tab here and click pre-export scene um but we also need to go on our sound here and add the phonon effect like this and we will enable reflection and all the it's a bit more expensive to enable those options but they are they help with making the sound sound more realistic um you can read a bit more about those in the manual uh, that will explain better than I, I do uh, the direct occlusion we will activate that too so that's help to detect kind of if you are if there is a wall between you and the and the sound uh, let's continue here so normally we are almost set up i will just place the camera inside uh, yeah and I will put my extended fly cam on the camera. Yeah. And I think we can test like that. Okay. So you can hear here the. Well, it's hard to see right now, kind of. Uh, you can hear the sound being reacting to the my position and the room. I will just uh, hide the directional light here, and I will put another small point light so we can see where we are a little bit. Okay, this is working. Uh, it's pretty nice. You have another option, which is to bake uh, all those effects. Because um, right now it's all real time and uh, preset is at low, we can put high. But if everything is kind of fixed, I Everything is static in your scene, and you may want to just not make it real time. So to do this, we just create a new game object here. We create props, and uh, on it we will add the prob box. This, and we make it uniform. 
So the box is here. All we need to do is uh, just put our room inside this box, basically. So we can just scale it like I'm doing. And uh, that should do it. And we also need to change our sound from real time to baked and add a bake source here. Just use all probs and go to your prob and generate. So we have no prop generated here. So you just need to make sure you are uh, putting your box under the floor or the prob, are, the prob are not going to generate. So just place it correctly, uh, generate the probs, and then uh, on your sound you just bake the effect and wait a little bit. Uh, in the meantime on the camera we can add a bake reverb. We also say to use all probs. Uh, we need to wait till this is finished though. So the baked source is complete. We go on the camera and we bake the reverb. So now that both bake are done, we will just test again. So when it's baked, I think the reverb is much better. Uh, the overall sound is more accurate in general. And that's it mostly, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and that it will help you to use uh, Steam Audio. Thank you for watching and see you next time.